Good evening to you all. I'm Alicia Malone here with more of TCM Spotlight on Women at Work. Tonight's lineup takes a look at career women in the 1970s and 80s, which was a time when more women started to be hired in executive and managerial roles. But the most common job for women remained being a secretary. And our next movie shows just how vital that job was. From 1980, directed by Colin Higgins, it's 9 to 5. This idea came from Jane Fonda, who wanted to produce a film that would show the struggles women faced in the workplace. She was inspired by the 9 to 5 movement, a labor organization for women office workers that started with two secretaries in Boston in the early 1970s and soon grew to include women from all over the country. They were asking for better pay, more opportunities to advance in the job and an end to the constant sexual harassment they faced. Fonda did a lot of research and it was obvious to her how much big businesses relied on secretaries and just how often their efforts were dismissed. And while initially she had set out to make a drama, she realized the story would land better as a comedy. So with a screenplay by Colin Higgins and Patricia Resnick, Fonda plays Judy, a secretary who is new to the office and finds allies in two other secretaries, the smart Violet, played by Lily Tomlin, who is overlooked for a promotion she deserves, and the sweet Dora Lee, played by Dolly Parton, who has to constantly evade sexual advances from their boss. And the three of them dream out ways to take revenge on their chauvinistic, lecherous boss, who is played by Dabney Coleman. From 1980, with a hit theme song by Dolly Parton, go pour yourself a cup of ambition, get ready to sing. This is 9 to 5. 9 to 5 became a seminal film about the plight of working women and was a big success when it was released in 1980, reaching number two at the box office, beaten only by the Star Wars sequel, The Empire Strikes Back. It had been Jane Fonda's idea to cast Lily Tomlin and Dolly Parton. She was a fan of both women. But according to Dolly Parton, many people were predicting that they wouldn't get along. Of course, that was ridiculous and the three became fast friends, with Fonda and Tomlin going on to star in the TV show Grace and Frankie together. And Parton even appeared in an episode as a nod to this film. OK, don't go anywhere because our Women at Work spotlight continues on TCM after this break with Diane Keaton as a high-powered, big-city career woman who has to change her life when she inherits a baby. Next on TCM, baby boom, then the China syndrome, and later, network. Faye holds sway on TCM Tonight. <laughs> 